What's up everyone? Welcome back to my organic lawn warrior channel. This video is going to be about how much grass seed do you need to do a renovation and why 70 degrees. So step one in the process is very important. If you want to know what to purchase and how much to purchase, you really need to know the square footage of your yard. And as you can see here, my yard, it's roughly about 6,000 6, to 6,500 square feet. That includes my backyard, which I did not do this fall. But as you can see here, I'll have a link in the video below, in the description of the video below, of a very cool tool. It's called mapdevelopers.com. You can actually type in your address and you can actually trace out your yard from point to point and actually get a very good estimate and I would say it's pretty accurate estimate of the square footage of your yard. And you will need this in knowing how much seed, how much fertilizer you will need to do your renovation. As you can see here, when I measure out the front side of my house, which is pretty much the front of the house if you're looking at the street view of my house, it's about 1,300 square feet. And to get the correct amount of seed for just that area because you don't want to put down too much and you don't want to put down too less of seed. What I did was is since I was doing pretty much bare dirt, I did pretty much the max uh, pounds that you want per 1000 feet uh, for that area. So I basically just took nine pounds, divide that by, out by a thousand and times that by the square footage. And you can see I got 12 pounds of seed for that area. And this may vary for you on what kind of lawn that you have. My lawn was pretty bad and it was pretty bare, so I did the max that I could. If you're overseeding into an existing lawn, you might not want to do that much. You might want to do three to six pounds per 1,000 square feet. And this is a simple Excel file that I put together, which if anyone would like, please comment below and I will be willing to email it to you or get it to you somehow so you can use it yourself. Once you figure out the square footage of your house and how many pounds per 1,000 that you actually want to put down for your lawn, you can figure out in total how much grass seed you will need by the pound. For me, I needed a little over 50 pounds for my lawn, so I purchased a 50 pound bag of the GCI Tall Fescue, Turf Type Tall Fescue from GCI Turf online. He also sells a 25 pound bag if you need less than that. Step number two in the process, know your soil temperature. Soil temperature because baby grass, new grown grass can't handle extreme temperatures. This is why we don't do overseeds in the middle of the summertime. We need to do overseeds when it gets cooler so these grasses have a longer time to be able to mature before that first uh, fall frost comes. In my area, that's around late October. As you can see from the Greencast tool online, I'm located here in New Jersey. I was approaching about the beginning of September. So what I did was I planted it over Labor Day weekend as I was approaching that 70 degree mark. And why this is important because you don't you want to give yourself at least a 45 to 60 day frame window before that first frost so you can really establish that new grass. And for what I did, I chose the GCI Turf Tall Fescue. It takes about 10 to 14 days for that seed to germinate. So there you have it. Now you know a little bit more about soil temperature and how to weigh out and how to know how much grass seed you'll need for your lawn uh, renovation or oversee, whatever you're planning on doing. Please comment below and subscribe and like. The next video coming up is going to be about how I killed my lawn with vinegar and not Roundup. Thank you.